how's it going? Before I get to start this video, I just want to kind of admit I'm actually laughing to myself right now because I feel like after making so many YouTube videos about technology, I still feel like this will be probably one of my nerdiest videos. And the reason why is I want to be showing you the technology, uh, all the uh, gadgets, cables, things like that, that I carry with me every single day, just because I personally find this very fascinating and I'm very proud of what I set up here in this, uh, this pouch. Um, so you can definitely tell me that this is horribly nerdy and geeky uh, and I probably will 100% agree with you. But in this video I'll be kind of showing you what I carry every single day in my backpack um, in terms of my tech needs. Uh, I've kind of gotten into watching some like everyday carry videos and even though I don't really, you know, are in, I'm not really interested in knives or guns, I think it's really interesting to see what people use every day and what they bring with them. Uh, you'll watch a hundred unboxing videos and reviews and you'll watch people talk about different gadgets, but it's, I think it's really telling to see what people actually carry and use every day. And so that's what I'll be showing you. So this pouch actually is a kind of like a tech holder. I've tried to find this exact one online to purchase, but I believe it's some type of corporate giveaway. My mom actually gave this to me and um, I couldn't find the brand online really. Um, and you can also see this branding on the back from I think NBC Universal. Uh, so this is just something I think a company made and printed out and gave away. But I will link to two um, pouches that are very similar. One's actually an Amazon basic brand that looks very similar in shape and size. The inside's a little bit different since it doesn't really have the cable management, but it does have really nice mesh pockets. The other one is a little bit more similar to um, a grid. It's called, I think, a grid it. So it has different um, rubber bands that hold cables and you can have different things fit inside the rubber bands. I'll link it both below um, in this video. But this is the one I carry. So it's pretty much a zippered pouch and you'll open it up here. Um, and this is stuff I carry every single day in my backpack. So since I'm a college student, uh, sometimes I'm actually away from my apartment for many hours at a time, uh, going to class, going to meetings, going to different events. And there's just some things I like to carry on me. Instead of having it float around my backpack, I decided to consolidate it all in one uh, kind of tech pouch, uh, tech everyday carry. And this is what I ended up carrying um, in the front compartment of my backpack. So starting off. On this side here, um, these these two smaller mesh pockets, and these are kind of just the smaller items. On the right hand side, I have a very simple. I think that Eddie Bauer. I got this like from I think Target a couple of years ago, but it's just an Eddie Bauer flashlight. It's not even that bright. I don't even know how many lumens it is, but it's a really cheap um, flashlight. I really ever use it to be quite honest, just because I do have the light uh, on my iPhone. But I think once or twice, I actually dropped something underneath the chair, couldn't see it, took out the flashlight, and it came in really handy. Um, the other thing is just the square reader. So being a college student. Uh, when the new semester starts, um, it gets time sometimes to sell a textbook or a notebook or something, and a lot of people don't carry cash that often. So I just keep a square reader, and I have the app on my iPhone, so if I have to sell something really quickly, I'll just take this out and um, use it. Left-hand side here of these two things. Uh, the first one's kind of like a, a multi-USB cable, uh, just I keep. Uh, the reason why I like it so much is because it has both micro and mini USB. Um, so one end is just the USB port that goes into the computer, and then you have three connectors. You have a uh, micro, mini, and then 30 pin. Not really relevant to me anymore since I do not have a 30 pin device, uh, but it's still nice to have the micro and mini just in case you need to connect something. Um, and it's super small too, and it, obviously it won't tangle unless somehow you magically force it to. Uh, the other thing is just this multi-tool I carry. So this is the one, I guess, kind of really true EDC item I do carry. Um, it is the Leatherman style, what is this, PS, and this is actually just a really simple one. You open it up and it has pliers, um, and it has a carabiner style kind of bottle opener too, so if you have to open a bottle or something. Um, and then in the front here, you have a pair of pliers, a file, and then also a pair of scissors. I probably use the scissors the most just because uh, at events when you have to open like a bag of chips or something, you just take this out, you open everything up and it works really well. Really handy to have and uh, I just really like the size of it too since I'm not a guy and I don't have really big pockets. I do want to carry something like this around and I just keep it in this uh, little little pocket here. Anyway, moving on. So this is what I was talking about with the Cocoon Grid. It has kind of like these the same style rubber bands that um, you know, make a pattern and keep cables. Um, mine, I only keep this one style cable. This is one I think I got off of Amazon again. It's not an official lightning cable, so it's not completely certified, so it might give you weird errors. But I got this off of for a few bucks, and I, the reason why I like it is it's so short, number one, so it's not going to really tangle. And it has the three main connectors of major smartphones. So it has actually the 30 pin, um, the lightning, and the micro USB. Um, all go into USB, so it's really great for charging. It's really short and it just it, it fits really well. Um, I've used it dozens of times when I'm in class and my phone is running low 
or our classmates, even their Android phone is running low, plug this into a computer, it works perfectly fine, and um, it fits really well in the tech pouch. So I really like that. It's actually one of the first items I really considered putting um, into something like this, this type of setup. On the other side here, um, you kind of have just another, these two sides here. Uh, these are just the two main connectors for my Retina MacBook Pro. One is a display port to uh, VGA. So if you ever have to make a presentation in class using a projector or you want to work with another monitor, most monitors I know of and most projectors I know uh, use VGA. And the other one is just a more recent purchase. This is a um, Thunderbolt to Ethernet. Um, my computer's been having a really hard time connecting to the wireless recently. Uh, so I've been keeping this too. And um, whenever I'm in class and I lose internet, I just plug this into my Pro and use the Ethernet cable that I have as well. And it's worked fine. Um, the last thing is just this big pouch here. I'll just take out everything here. And this is kind of where the really nerdy stuff comes out. This is what I mainly have. I push that aside. Um, first off is the Ethernet cable to go with the Ethernet adapter. So if I do have bad wireless, um, I just plug this into the adapter. Um, I really like the length of it too. I'm not sure how really how long it is, just because I'm horrible at measuring length. I would say at least three feet. Um, but just Ethernet cable, I wrap it up and it actually fits really well. It's yellow, so I guess I won't ever lose it either, but that goes in. Um, next thing is the aux cable. Um, I have this because Last couple times I ran into it, like I ran events, uh, we needed to plug in a laptop or our phone into a speaker and they always supply the speaker but never the aux cable so I've just been keeping this in my bag too. It's nice um, if you want to plug in some audio. Um, I have a really cheap Kensington uh, wireless mouse. Uh, the USB adapter is actually built into the bottom of the mouse when you plug it in. Um, there's an on and off switch. It's really, I think I got it from Target. Uh, I really like using the trackpad. I only keep this if I ever have to do some type of graphic design work or video editing where it's really nice to have that scroll wheel, things like that. And the last thing, of course, is you can't have one of these tech pouches without carrying a flash drive. So this is my flash drive. It's a, a SanDisk wireless flash drive. I believe it's called the Connect. Uh, but it's a line of flash drives made by SanDisk that are actually wireless. So the great thing is it'll actually create its own wireless network that your iPhone or iOS device can connect to. And that way, if you load up movies on the flash drive, you can watch them um, on your iPhone without taking up space on your iOS device. Um, and vice versa, if you're, you're on vacation and your iPhone has way too many pictures and you want to take more, but you don't have a computer, you actually can turn this flash drive on. So I can turn this on if it has any charge to it. Yep. Um, and then move all the pictures to the flash drive so your iPhone has room. Um, so it's kind of like a deluxe flash drive in that way. Uh, but it still functions like a normal flash drive, so I have to move files, download things from friends. The great thing about it too is it's actually expandable. So there's an SD, uh, micro SD card slot on the side here that if you really feel like the supplied one by SanDisk is not large enough, you know it's expanded as well. So right now I have 32 gigabytes in this flash drive, which is really enough for me for what I use because I rarely ever actually just use a normal flash drive. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm kind of glad I showed this just because I've been showing off to people who don't really understand. So if you guys have a similar setup, please let me know. Please make me feel like I'm not the only one who kind of obsesses over this kind of stuff. Um, if you have any suggestions about what else I should carry, uh, please let me know down below. Um, but any other questions too, you can always find me on Twitter at the Macintosh one uh, or just down below in the comments. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon.